Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Gurus, and today I have a tech tip for you about putting a Tesla Model 3 or a Tesla Model Y into service mode. So what you see beside me is our 2019 Tesla Model 3 dual motor vehicle, all right? Now when this thing comes into your shop, you want to make sure to make this, make sure this thing is as safe as possible by putting it into service mode. It's pretty easy to do, uh, and I'll walk you through it here in just a second, but first I want to tell you a few of the reasons why you may want to. First of all, if you know about some of the features uh, that the Teslas are so known for, one of them being able uh, to manipulate the vehicle itself through an app on the owner's phone. If you think about that, you have the vehicle in your service bay, the last thing you want is for them to start messing around with the app, kind of learning the features of it, and this car start to roll away. Uh, when you put it into service mode, it will disable that. One of the other things it disables uh, is the sentry mode. So it disables the dash cams and things like that. So you're not getting pictures and videos taken of every employee you have in your shop. Uh, last thing, and I'll touch on a few other details when we're in the vehicle, but the last one I'll mention out here is actually a seven mile per hour speed limit. All right, so if you have some porters or you have some car wash, uh, car wash uh, you know, built into your service center, uh, it limits the, uh, the performance of this vehicle by a lot, obviously, uh, with only a seven mile per hour speed limit. So let's hop into the vehicle and let me walk you through how to get it into service mode and show you a couple other features of it. Okay, so we're in our Model 3 here, and now I wanna show you actually how to get it into uh, service mode. So the first thing you need to understand is what software level uh, that your Tesla has when you're working on, whether it's a 3 or a Y. Well, this one I can already tell you uh, is gonna be a later version of the software because the earlier versions, which would be 2020.48.25 and previous would actually have a Tesla logo up here in the top. Now, if you run into one of those, all you have to do is press that Tesla logo for about two to three seconds. You'll see it kind of pop or flare, if you will. You'll release it and then it will give you another uh, pop-up window to enter a code. Well, obviously you see that I don't have that Tesla T logo here. Um, so I'm beyond that 2020.48.25 software level. So how we're gonna work this one is we'll hit, put our little icon down here at the bottom. We're actually gonna go into software, all right? And right here where it says model three, we're gonna press on our, our, our capital letter model here for about two seconds and then release it. So I press it about two seconds, let it go. And we see a pop-up menu that says, please enter access code. Now for all Model 3s and Model Ys, it's just service, all lowercase. So S-E-R-V-I-C-E -E, and press OK. Now it's gonna pop up another menu, or not a menu, but a window here uh, that said it should only be enabled by uh, service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle, all right? Which is exactly, exactly what we're talking about here today, having a, a vehicle in your bay, all right? So we're gonna hit enable. And now we see the whole display here is surrounded by that red border that says uh, service mode. It gives you the VIN number, says it's speed limited there. Some other information you can see on this initial screen is what the hardware uh, is in this vehicle, what this firmware is, and mileage, okay? Now the thing I wanna focus on with today's tech tip uh, is what service mode does for you. So we're gonna hit service settings because that's gonna display it for us. So the very first one you see, and you can actually see here, I've got a toggle switch. So I can actually turn this on and off, but it is speed limited. So at this point, like I've mentioned uh, before we got in the vehicle, if you have porters that shuffle vehicles around for you, uh, or you have some car wash personnel, you know, this is a nice, nice feature there that seven miles per hour, you don't have to worry about them getting out and uh, you know, doing, doing some crazy stuff with the vehicle itself, almost like a valet mode. The next thing, uh, you see there is phone Bluetooth. Now you see that also has a toggle switch next to it as well. What's nice about this is think about how many times you've been in the bay working on a vehicle with it keyed up, customers in the waiting room, and you get that, uh, the phone starts to ring inside the vehicle and you got a customer looking around going, why, why can't I answer the phone? All right, because it's still Bluetooth. All right, with this feature, once it goes into service mode, you can actually uh, you know, disable all Bluetooth features where that does not happen. Now it is nice they provide you with a toggle switch so that if you need to test the Bluetooth connectivity in the car or you're looking for blown speakers so you got a Bluetooth to get some music going in it, you can toggle that, all right? A couple of other things to point out here that I mentioned earlier, you see the dash cam is there so I can uh, disable that so I don't have to worry about, like I said, every employee uh, in the building getting pictures taken from them uh, or of them and videos of them as well. Uh, you see the child lock is turned off 
uh, self park is turned off, walk away lock, which is very nice. I don't have to worry about walking away from the vehicle and the thing locking up on itself. Uh, sentry mode, once again, is disabled. Our auto wipers are disabled, so we don't have to worry about doing some work on the windshield somewhere and having the wipers uh, begin to, to go across the windshield there. So like I said, very uh, important to understand this menu and to get it into uh, this service mode when you have one in your bay for your own safety, all right? It's just, it's very important to get here. Uh, if not, like I said, a customer is out there messing with that phone and this thing starts moving around, uh, we can cause some serious damage. All right, now that we've looked at some of the, uh, the things that the service mode will do for you, let me show you how to get it back out of service mode real quick. So I'll just close out of that menu. And now you see right there in the center of the screen, it says exit service mode. So very simple, just hit exit service mode. You see my red border around the screen goes away and now the car is good to go. All right, hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed today's tech tip. For more videos like this, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe. For more information about Garage Gurus, visit us at garagegurus.tech. I'm Ryan Payne and we hope to see you next time.